What is up everyone? It is Bilar and today I'm going to talk about finding the Stormblade in the Vastiri Desert in Act 9, which is necessary to unblock the way to the Oasis, which will allow you to find and kill Shikari for a passive point. So there are four layouts in the Vastiri Desert, each of which have a different location for the Stormblade. I'm going to pull up a couple screenshots walk you through the different layouts quickly and then talk about the read method so to begin i'm just going to pull up um, one of the screenshots this is what i call the mid layout it's called the mid layout because the storm uh, blade is located in sort of the middle area of the map uh, represented by this golden circle here um, also this ring of pillars will always be present around the storm blade quest area that's another way you can tell where it's located on the map. So uh, some general things about the Vastiri Desert layout. We're always going to start on the west side of the map. The foothills are going to be on sort of the north middle-ish area of the map. And every, in every layout, we're always going to sort of travel in a sort of boomerang shape. If you look at it to reach the foothills, the foothills uh, exit location is going to sort of move around a little bit along this uh, top mid wall, but it's not going to like go anywhere else crazy. Over here, um, you can see this little footbridge leading into the oasis, and this is what we need to get the Stormblade for so we can unblock the sandstorm that is there using the bottled storm, which is what we get it for turning in the Stormblade uh, in town in Act 9 Town in Highgate. Finally, there is the waypoint over here. The waypoint is always sort of going to be around the midpoint of the map, both vertically and uh, horizontally. Now, in terms of horizontal alignment, uh, sometimes it's going to be sort of like right near the mid right here. Sometimes it'll be a little over. Sometimes it will be a little up, but generally speaking, it will always be to the right of the midpoint of the map uh, horizontally. So a couple things to note more specifically about this storm blade itself. So one of the critical tells that we're going to look at is we're going to pay attention to this top wall here as we navigate the zone. For every single layout, we are going to navigate east uh, sort of along this top wall. Each layout is going to have at least one of these steps. Most will have sort of a double step. And depending on what happens after this second double step over here, we will know where the location is in most layouts. Uh, for what I refer to as the exit wall layout and the south layout we're going to have to do sort of one additional check but it's not a big deal and it doesn't really route us off track very much so with that being said i'm going to tell you how i can read this mid layout from the rest of them but before i do that i should actually show you the rest of the layouts so this is the east stormblade location and you can tell um that over here located in the east sort of like the pure east side of the map um, is the Stormblade. The next one is called the Exit Wall Stormblade. And I refer to it as this because the Stormblade sort of is on the wall that leads to the Foothills uh, entrance. Finally, there is the South layout where the Stormblade is located at the south corner of the map. So what we're going to do to tell all these lay, um, layouts apart is that I'm going to walk you through the read method that we're going to use, and then we'll do a couple live demonstrations. So with the read method, as I mentioned, we are always going to head east, and we're going to pay attention to this wall. In the mid layouts, it is always going to be the case that we are going to see a double step. And when we see the double step, we're going to see sort of this northwest running border of the second double step terminate pretty quickly. And then we'll see a bunch of terrain that heads to the southeast. 
most of the times it's going to be sort of a straight wall like this. Occasionally you'll see some like outcroppings that mess with the fact that it's going to be a, a straight line. Other times um, it will be a little shorter than this. So it'll actually sort of be all in line with each other like the other two double steps. Uh, from my experience, most of the times it's a little longer. Once we get to sort of this third outcropping here along this wall, the mid one will always be directly to the east of it. So by virtue of us just sort of running east from the exit here, if it's the mid location, we're going to run into it pretty quickly. So that's a nice thing to know. Uh, importantly to this can also sort of help give you more context for the rest of the layouts is that in the mid layout, there's always going to be four outcroppings here. We have the first two sort of double step outcroppings. We have this third one, and then we have this fourth one. The third and fourth one are always going to be roughly in line with each other. And sometimes it actually may all be in line with the first um, outcropping and the second outcropping. Now let's look at the east layout. So with the east layout, it kind of looks a little bit like the mid layout when we start, but what you'll notice right away is there's only three outcroppings. There will only ever be three outcroppings in the east layout. As we travel east, we see the double step, but instead of sort of the edge of the double, the second double step terminating pretty quickly, it's going to continue to the northwest. And so we're, we're going to know at that point we're not in the mid layout anymore as this sort of extends in length. As we head east, what we're going to find is we're going to come across a third outcropping that is always going to be roughly level with the second outcropping. Once this happens, we know that we're in the east layout. In the remaining two layouts, the south layout and the exit wall layout, this sort of third outcropping is actually going to be further, further down south here and it will not be in line with this sort of the second double step at all. So let's go look at the next layout, the exit wall layout. So as I mentioned, we see the double step. We know we're not going to be in the mid layout because this sort of wall after the double step extends to northwest pretty far instead of stopping right here. As we travel east, we get blocked and we can't go east anymore without first going southeast. This is going to be a feature in both the exit wall layout and the south layout. Now, with the exit wall layout and the south layout, there is never going to be a fourth outcropping. There will only ever be three outcroppings. And the way we're gonna determine the exit wall layout from the south layout is after we pass this third outcropping, we are gonna head north within a screen of turning north past this third outcropping we should see sort of the terrain for these pillars if we don't we know it's in the south location and in that case we're just going to book it down south and that will be that so just to show you that this is the case i'm going to go to the south one again we see the double step the wall goes up so we know it's not the mid location we're going to travel east we see that our east movement gets blocked, so we know it's not the east location. We're going to have to head southeast around this third outcropping. We'll check north of screen, so right about here. And we'll, we won't see sort of the terrain of pillars, the rings. And so we'll know it's to the south, so we'll head south, get the um, quest item by doing the little event here. Go pick up the waypoint and then go on our merry way to whatever way you want a path through the rest of act nine so now that we've been over the method i am going to just run us through a a couple live demonstrations uh, i'll only do two so it'll be relatively quick so i follow the upper wall here as i mentioned i see the double step and i see that it ends pretty quickly so i know that this is the mid layout already so here it's located, perfect. I will go back, reset the zone real quick. And that's pretty much how, how you can tell right away um, what you're gonna be looking for. And this is a zone you know, that you don't have to know a whole lot about if you just know this method about trying to find the Stormblade. So I'll head east again. This wall continues a lot further to the Northwest uh, than it did in the mid layout. So I know I'm not in the mid layout. I'll go east. I get blocked here, which rules out the east layout. 
I'll have to travel around it and see what's after sort of the next outcropping here. This is all one big outcropping. I'll go north of screen and I see the storm blade area right here. So I know I'm in the exit wall layout. We'll do one last one for good measure and we'll see if we can get either the south layout or the east layout so I can show you what it looks like in an actual route. So as they come out here again, I'll follow this upper wall along the double step and I'll keep looking for it. So this I'm pretty sure is going to be the east layout. Yep. So you can see that the second outcropping is in line with the third outcropping. So that means it's going to be on the east side of the map. Now, one important thing to note here is that sometimes the second double step is not going to quite be a full double step. It'll be a little truncated here, but that's okay. Usually when that happens, that means we're in the east layout. That doesn't always mean it's the case, but it's one important cue you can sort of look at too as well. So I'm just going to travel all the way to the east here, and there is the location of the storm blade as we sort of followed the read method. All right, so that is how to find the storm blade in Act 9 Vestiri Desert. I hope this helps and have a good one.